Hello, I am Dr. Payal Dandey. Welcome to the learning episode of Bee Farm on the unit called as Sources of Drugs from Natural Origin under the subject known as Pharmacognosy. Now before we go to the actual presentation, let's first understand the learning objectives which we are going to have today from this topic. First we are going to discuss about the definition of drug. Then we will see the various natural sources of drugs and we will also discuss about the various examples of drugs that comes from various natural resources and which we are going to be utilized or which we are using it right in the pharmaceutical industry. Now before we start our discussion, try and write in your notebook what do you understand by the term drug. Take two minutes for this, take a pause and write down whatever comes in your mind or whatever you understand about the term drug. Have you written? Okay. So some of you may have written that it must be a medicine which is used for a disease or it's a substance which is used for the treatment of a particular disease. Though you all are right, but then we are still not reached to its complete definition. So let us see what is the complete definition of drug. Drug is any substance which can be used for the diagnosis, treatment, mitigation and prevention of a particular disease in human or animals. So friends, they are basically the therapeutic agents which are used to cure the disease or to diagnose, diagnose them or to prevent them. But they can, when we, when we talk about the natural drugs, they can even be used as pharmaceutical aids. For example, they could be used as a bioavailability enhancer or they can be used as a lubricant or they can be used as an excipient to prepare a particular formulation. Now that we have very clear about the term drug, let us also try to understand what are the various natural resources of drugs. So can you guess the natural sources of drug? Once again, take two minutes to think and write the natural sources which are known to you that has been used as a source of drug. Meaning, any source from where you have found the drug and it is natural in nature. Have you done that? Okay, now keep your list ready because I am going to show you the various natural resources of the drugs from there we are getting the drugs. Okay, so to start with we have drugs coming from plant origin, from animal origin, from minerals, from metals and from marine along with microorganisms. Meaning we have utilized every natural resource right from the land the river, the oceans and the mountains to get the mineral ores and the metals to be utilized as drugs. Isn't it interesting to know about it? Okay, now that we know the various natural resources from where we have developed the drug, let's play a quiz. Let's try and take time, let's say two to three minutes and write one drug coming from each origin. For example, drug from plant origin. Let me remember, turmeric, are we using turmeric for wound healing at home? Yes. So similarly, try and write one drug which comes from each origin which you know. Have you done that? Okay, if you are not being able to get under each source, don't worry, I am going to show this in the slides to come. Let's first start with the plant origin. As I rightly said, this is the origin from where we have got numerous drugs coming from. And to talk about few, I have listed over there in the slide. The first one in the slide is Senna. Senna is leaf. Senna leaves are being utilized because of its active phytoconstituents. Phyto means plant, plant constituents known as senocytes A and B. These leaves are coming from the plant Casea angustifolia. Casea angustifolia is the botanical name of this plant and they are being utilized for their purgative action or their laxative action. Similarly, we have another plant known as Ravulfia serpentina. 
Here we use the root of this plant which contains the active chemical constituent known as Rezepine. And this Rezepine is being used as an antihypertensive drug. Similarly, we have also have many important fruits which makes up the drug. And the three most important out of them are Amla, that is Amla, which we say in Hindi, Behra and Hirda. Amla comes from the plant Embelica of Isnalis. Behra comes from the plant Terminalia bellerica and Hirda comes from the plant Terminalia chevula. All of these fruits contain gallic acid, ellagic acid as the major phenolic compounds. And this active chemical constituents gives them the laxative action. And that's the reason why the most common formulation called as Trifla Chulna contains a combination of these three fruits. Further, we have another important drug known as Arjuna, which comes from the plant Terminalia Arjuna. And it contains Arjunic and Arjunolic acid. This are the triterpene glycosides, which has strong cardiotonic activity. Besides this, Arjuna can be also used for the source of calcium. Like we have Amla, which is very rich in vitamin C and therefore can be used in the treatment of the disease called as scurvy, which is because of the deficiency of vitamin C. Similarly, as we said, the most common drug which we use at home, turmeric, right? Although we use it as a flavoring agent, as a spice, we also use it as a drug. Turmeric comes from the plant Curcuma longa. And the major active constituent because of which it is being used in the pharmaceutical industry is curcumin. This can be used as a coloring agent, as an anti-inflammatory drug and also for its wound healing property. Now let's see the drugs coming from the animal origin. But before we go to that, let's also talk about the various phytochemicals which are present in the plants because of which they are being utilized as drug. So plant contains various chemical constituents that are known as secondary metabolites such as alkaloids, glycosides, tannins, flavonoids, gums, oils and resins which exert therapeutic activity in human beings. And this is the reason why we use plant as a source of drug. Now let's come to the next source and that is animal origin. We all know beeswax, right? It is found or obtained from the honeycomb, right? And they contain mercil, palmitate and serotic acid as a major active constituent. And this beeswax can be used as a base to prepare the various ointment. Similarly, the most common oil known as cod liver oil which we all take for the deficiency of vitamin A and D, right? Cod liver oil is very rich in vitamin A and D and it comes from the liver of the cod fish and thereby they can be used in, even in the treatment of rickets which happens because of the deficiency of vitamin D. Another important drug which we have from animal origin is gelatin which is a protein containing amino acids like lysine and these gelatin is used for the preparation of capsule shells. They are being used for micro encapsulation of the drug. They are also being used to prepare the culture media for bacteriological studies. Another important drug, rather I will not say it as a drug, this is a suture. This is a fiber known as silk, which comes from the silkworm, from the cocoon of the silkworm, and it contains protein called as fibroid. This is used for the preparation of sutures and seeds in the pharmaceutical industry. Beside the use in pharmaceutical industry, this is very expensive fiber which is used in textile industry too. Now let's see few drugs coming from the mineral origin. Kaolin, which is commonly known as China clay is basically an hydrated aluminium silicate which can be used as an adsorbent by oral administration for the treatment of enteritis, dysentery and food poisoning. Externally, it is used as a dusting powder 
and is also being utilized as a lubricant. Then we have another important lubricant known as talc. Talc is also known as French chalk. It's hydrated magnesium silicate which can be used as a lubricant in the preparation of tablet and pills and beside this also commercially being utilized in the formation of talcum powder which we use daily. The next we have calamine which is used in calamine lotion. It's basically a ore of zinc oxide with a small amount of ferric oxide in it. They are topically being utilized as an astringent and they are skin protective agents. Then we have another important mineral known as bentonite which are extracted from the volcanic ashes and they contain hydrated aluminium silicate. They are being utilized as a suspending agent as well as as the emulsifying agent in topical preparations. They are also being utilized as the powder to make the base in creams. So, till now you have got a fair understanding of what we mean by the term drug and we have also seen the various natural resources. Not only this, we discussed about the various drugs which comes from the plant, animal and mineral origin. To know more about the drugs coming out from various other origins, please watch the video number 2 which is going to come succeeding to this. Thank you very much for watching this video. I am Dr. Payal Dende signing off.